Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we're doing Blackpool Zoo. from here last year for the first time ever and to be honest it was a bit disastrous yeah, it absolutely <laughs> threw it down all day long literally rained yeah. all day all of the animals were inside uh, away from the rain and the cold and yeah it didn't really go very well so no. <laughs> we're excited to be back here i yeah. mean it's a brilliant zoo, um, zoo. and i think it's well. an underrated zoo very underrated zoo yeah um and so it's great to be back here and to be able to hopefully film in better weather, better weather. Uh, there's some sort of fire going on i don't quite know uh, it's not the zoo, um, but there's some sort of smoke going on. Everywhere's full of smoke and we can see it billowing from there. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic zoo and it'll be good to actually show um, it properly because mm. we didn't really get the chance last time no. um, because of the weather. So we're just going to head round through the dinosaurs and up to the elephant section, I think, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It looks like the keepers are doing something at the minute inside the um, elephant house. Delivering the hay, by the looks of it. Ah, uh, is that what they're doing? Uh, um, so some of them are inside the house, but further at the back, so you can't really see them very well. There's some outside, I don't know if you can see on here. Um, yeah, there's some outside. Um, but uh, a lot of these elephants are the ones that used to live at Twycross Zoo, which um, are in the area where the rhinos now are at Twycross Zoo. Um, I mean, they did have some elephants here before, but the, um, the ones at Twycross Zoo have just added to them. Um, but the elephant enclosure here, I think, is quite a nice one, actually. Mm. I think after Chester Zoo, it's probably, um, in my opinion, the, the nicest elephant mm. enclosure that we've seen at any, any zoo so mm. far. It is, it is a good enclosure, yeah, because it used to be up um, by sort of, what, I think it's camels now? The camels, now? Yeah, the camels, yeah. Well, it might, might have changed again, but I think mm. last time it was um, camels over in the old elephant enclosure. It wasn't, it wasn't a particularly big enclosure was it wasn't bad but it wasn't mm, the best no but they, they had less elephants then didn't they so they probably needed more space yeah yeah with the ones coming over from but yeah from, it's nice from, and you've got a nice little walkway with um sort of indian music i believe yeah sort of playing yeah and they've got uh, it's not open today because it's a weekday and it's not gonna be very busy but they've got sort of um some sort of Asian inspired eatery yeah, at the bottom. So I think it's sort of like Asian street yeah, food that they serve. I, I can't remember exactly what they serve, no. but um, they've got that down at the bottom. I mean, it might open later, yeah. I don't know. It's only early at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little area just by the dinosaurs. I don't know what is going on over there, but there's a horrendous noise mm. coming from just on this other side of the fence where the fire is. Awful, it's doing my ears in. <laughs>
like a lot of zoos, this one does have a dinosaur walkthrough area. Um, but the one here is really nice, uh, we do like this one. Um, they've expanded it quite a lot since we first came in 2014, it used to be quite small. Um, but they've still got some of the old models, um, along with some new models. And you can kind of tell the difference between the two, because the older ones are looking a bit tired. Um, whereas the newer ones are a bit more fresher looking. And, and the newer ones and are animatronic. Are animatronic, well. yeah. This creature behind me is a tree porcupine and they are amazing. It looks a little bit like a beaver, but with the sort of spikes that uh, porcupines have. Are they called spikes? I can't remember. Spines? Spines, that's it, spines. Um, they come from North America. They're usually up in the tree, um, just sleeping. Um, but yeah, this is a rare occasion where we've had a good, a good uh, view of them. One year they did have a baby, um, and we got to see them then. Uh, had just a little baby on its back, but uh, that was before we started doing this vlogging business. Mm, the vlogging um, business. Yeah. We were just sat on a bench having a drink, weren't we? Mm. Uh, talking, and all of a sudden I was like, "Oh my god, it's come out!" <laughs> yeah, because we don't always get to see it. No. Uh, well, normally, like, because if they're up in the trees, they're sort of all curled up, and mm. they just look like fluff. the world of wings which is a huge massive aviary um, of free flying birds you can see a lot of them behind us um, it used to be called the Amazonian walkthrough and they did have um, squirrel monkey in here and white faced saki monkey um, but now they've turned it into an aviary and it's just free flying birds from all different parts of the world um, which is why it's called world of wings this is usually one of the quietest parts people don't tend to stay that long um, but it's one of the most beautiful parts. Yeah. It's a lovely little setting over there that you've got. Um, and um, we, we spend ages in we here, do. don't we? And there's like all the trees and the flowers. Yeah, lovely. And you can see the swan down there. I'm not sure what sort of swan that is. Um, some sort of no, black and white swan. I, I'm sure there used to be a lot more yeah, signage. Yeah, there used to be a lot more signage, moment. I'm sure. Um, I can only see the signage for the um, bittern and the spoonbill. And, yeah. yeah.
Just over by the red panda, um, one of them is just sleeping above its nest box just here, and the other one is, um, I imagine, sleeping in one of its nest boxes because they've got about four nest boxes. Um, but the red pandas have had twins recently in June. Um, the sign does say you're unlikely to see them because they rarely leave the nest box at the moment, um, but it does say if you are lucky, you might see them venturing out. He saw me scratching the other one and he came over for a or she came over for a scratch, didn't you? You want to scratch? No, you don't. Yes, you don't. You want to scratch your other ears? No.
we've come back to the elephants like we said we would. Um, there's about five out at the minute that I can see. Um, and they're all spread out today actually. Normally when we come, they're normally just in this sandy area here. Um, but they're all over today, like over in the green space there and there's two in the sandy area. There's a, the bull, the bull elephant. Um, I'm not sure if that's a female or maybe just a young male. Um, but yeah, they're all out today. It's been a very successful day this time at Blackpool Zoo. Much more successful than last year. Um, drier. Much, much drier. Much drier, yeah. I mean, it, there has been the odd spot of rain um, this afternoon. But yeah, for the majority, it's been really good. And the animals have been quite active today as well, haven't they? Mm. Which is good. Like, even the lions and the tigers have been quite active. We've got so much to do in Blackpool. Um, but love coming to the zoo. It is one of our favourite zoos here in the UK. Oh, there's some uh, kangaroos here having a little cuddle or something there. Um, we're in the... There they go. There they are. Um, so we're in the Wallaby Walk. Uh, walk. Is it called Wallaby Walkabout? Walkabout. Walkabout, yeah. Though... Um, They've also got kangaroo, so it is not just wallaby. The only place that we've seen with kangaroo in a walkthrough enclosure, which is really cool. Mm. 
tree porcupine, I loved that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. good to see them yeah. for, for once properly. For once properly yeah. Got to see it climbing a tree as well. Yeah. I've never actually seen it. They're actually quite cumbersome. They don't climb trees as elegantly as I thought they probably would. They're no. quite agile, as I imagined, um, for something that climbs up trees. Uh, only sad thing is the lorikeets still aren't open. No, they're not, which is a shame, mm. because last year they was closed because of COVID, and the year before that, when we came, they was just building yeah. it. So that's one enclosure we've still yet to, um, explore. to explore. Yeah, so and it's hope... really, it looks nice. It does it look, look nice, like very active. noisy as well. Yeah, very some noisy. of the noisiest birds mm. you can come across. Yeah. Um, but they're always great. They're always a great, a great attraction, aren't they, lorikeets? Mm. So it's a shame we can't go in there. Um, but it is what it is. Hope you know, maybe next year. Who knows? Mm. But it's a great zoo. It's honestly yeah. a great zoo, and, and it's good to be able to not do it in the rain. Yeah, and hopefully you've enjoyed us showing you around the zoo um, in better conditions. <laughs> yeah, um, without the hoods up. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the raincoats, hiding under the huts. But until next time, we'll see you next time we do stuff. <laughs>